Now obviously here at London is we're regular commuters, we know a thing or two about the tube, we go on the tube a lot, but how many times have you got to work in the office and you were like, my tube was packed this morning, it was rammed, it was so full. How full is a full tube carriage? I often think that when it comes to say earthquakes, there's the Richter scale for how severe an earthquake is, and it got us thinking, maybe there should be a similar scale for how busy your tube carriage is. Maybe next time you go to work, you can be like, my tube carriage was so full. How full? It was an eight out of 10, you could say. How busy is an eight out of 10? Let's show you. Our scale ranges from zero to 10, and we'll be using this carriage graphic to help us illustrate how busy a tube carriage can get. So at the bottom of the scale is the big fat zero out of 10. That is an empty train carriage. That magical moment, even more magical if it's not at the end of the line, when a train pulls in and you get a whole carriage to yourself. Except this isn't a zero because a one out of 10 is the minute you step in and sit down as the only passenger in an empty carriage, that's a one out of 10. All the while you're the only person in the carriage, it's a one out of 10. But the moment somebody else gets on, it goes up a notch. Someone else has got on. This is no longer a one. This is now a two, look. Now tube carriages that aren't walk through trains are normally divided into three seated areas. And it's when you have people sitting in each of these three areas that you're on a three out of 10, like the one I'm traveling in now. And what about a four or five? Now at four, the carriage is filling up nicely. Now you might think, and you'd be right to think that five is when all the seats are taken, but that is not the case. A five is when there are still some spare seats left, but the first person has elected to stand. It's only when all the seats are taken that you're on a six out of 10. So this is a six. You can kind of surf in the tube carriage. There's enough room to wave my arms. All the seats are taken. There are some people standing, but I don't feel claustrophobic. That's a six. Seven is when there's less room, but there is still room to do that one important thing on the commute. Okay, so this would be a seven out of 10. All the seats are taken. There are people standing, but there is room to read a paper. Now, to finish up, we'll do nine and 10, but that's best done with these graphical illustrations. A nine is when a train is so full, there's no space to hold any newspaper or smartphone. You really are crammed in. But even then, nine is not the fullest. No, 10 is the fullest. 10 is when it's so full, you don't need to hold on to anything because when the train breaks, you're protected from falling over by all the people crushed in around you. But having said that, is there even one more level beyond a 10? I've just thought of a possible number 11. What if it's so full, you can't even get on in the first place. 